Hi Leos, welcome back. I'm Ashley Rose and today we are going to be doing our December monthly reading for December 2021. Um, I'm going to get set up here. We will have seven cards for an overview of our month, an oracle card, three cards for your love life, three cards to clarify them, and then we will end it with an affirmation. So give me a second as I get set up. These apply to all sun, moon, ridings, risings, and Venus. Hold on, tilt the camera up a little. Um, so at any time throughout the year, the month, you wanna come back in, check in. This is for you. Um, oh, okay. Cards I've been flying around. Oh my gosh, I love this. Today. Ooh. We are in the start of Sagittarius season as we begin this month, and Sagittarius season is all about adventure. It's about taking the risk and the drive, and you feel comfortable in it because it's a fellow, it is a fellow fire sign. Um, and we just came from this eclipse, right? Where where you should be, you may be feeling a lot. A lot of stuff could have been brought up to the surface, and. A lot of things could have been brought up to the surface that we weren't exactly happy to identify with. And that's okay, because as we go through Sagittarius season, it re it's going to help us find the opportunity in what was brought up to the surface and learn how we can work with that energy to create a life that's balanced and that's loving and that is more aligned with what we want and what we're doing than maybe what we were doing in the past. Oh. oh, I just, there's so much good stuff going on for everybody. I literally don't even know how to handle it. Yeah, it's just going to be a really important. The opportunity thing is a big one for us this month because as we get to the end, as we round out the end of the year in Capricorn season, we are putting in the work. And I love that honestly Capricorn season comes at this like crossover of December and January as we end the year and start a new one because it's like the darkest time, it's gloomy, the holidays are over. But it really helps us keep our nose down and do the work that is meaningful to us and have the strength to find the opportunity in the work that we're doing especially when things feel crazy or we know that there's a lot of changes in our lives that is ready to be made. Things are ready to unfold in front of this. And this month is going to be definitely a good indicator in a beginning of that unfolding. But I feel like it's playful unfolding. There's a lot of things to be celebrating and getting connected into our relationships. And this is love, but also this could be love, but also I want to say like platonic and, fan, and with our family, spending time and finding the opportunity and the things that we can grow and build with them together, I think is going to be really important to us. important to stay grounded my friends because like I said there's a lot there's a lot of good there's a lot of things there's just a lot of things going on a lot of good and a lot of change how do I say change like I love change though um a lot of things changing so as it's happening or even the stuff to celebrate it's important to stay grounded through that that we don't get carried away it's it's amazing so weird that I'm saying this. It is awesome and amazing to feel your good feeling emotions and to keep following that. But we don't want to get carried away to where we are distracting ourselves from what we're really supposed to be doing. And then it becomes this like delusion. Um, but to continue just moving forward with that in, it, in excitement, in, in, in excitement with that. Alrighty, so we begin 
this month with the Nine of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Like, come on, wishes granted stability, security, financial success, and abundance. Like you are walking into this into this month like, all right, I can do this, right? Or even just like looking over as like a recap of the month to know that as we have are brave enough to take a look at the things that were brought to the surface during the eclipse, that we are going to create opportunity out of it. We are still going to remain grounded and we are going to see the things that are coming to fruition regardless of those, of that, right? And it's a, it's nine or nine of cups is the number nine. Nine is the number for spirituality and completion. And when one thing's end, a new beginning starts and you are starting this new beginning of that understanding of being more spiritually in tune with who you are. And we're all kind of really going through this process of being way, con way more connected to our spirit than we have been in the past. Um, this is a moment where we're going to sit back and really be grateful. Both of, the, both of these cards, and I feel like if this is like the baby version of this, both of these cards are sitting here grateful and appreciative that they put in the work for their dreams. They put in the work for their desires. They just put in the work for what they needed and what they wanted and what they saw for themselves in their life. So they could sit here appreciative and grateful because there may be some things that come up that make us feel the opposite. We have the 10 of cups in reverse here and it kind of like it flew out I grabbed it it turned around so I'm going to talk about it in both ways because there's I feel like there's that opportunity for choice or so this is where we're working through we can choose to see things this way upside down woe is me things are happening stuff's changing I can't control that it doesn't fit what I think it needs to be and we can be stuck here we can be stuck with this frown upside down, not seeing the abundance in our life. Or we have the opportunity to see the crossroad that we're at and move through it and be this king of pentacles. Because it's like this king of pentacles is here looking at this, looking out here with his family. And this is the kingdom that he's in. Like this is his house. This is two different perspectives. Him on the inside, him on the outside. You internally feeling feeling secure, feeling comfort, and externally knowing that your life is filled with love and is blessed, or it has many blessings and many opportunities to it, many things and dreams that we can tap into and create with. So that is, I feel like that's some big thing that we're, that is something that we're going to be going through this month. How do you choose to move through your life? Are you choosing to move through it, looking at things from a greater perspective of understanding a deeper awareness for where you're going are we going to continue to choose like it's not happening the way that I thought it needed to so it's really not going that great I'm gonna tell you that thought is not going to be great one to keep going on because there's a lot more there's a lot better things waiting for you this month so to stay stuck here it's not going to be beneficial and you're gonna miss a lot that's coming your way. So let's turn this frown upside down and let's dance under the rainbow and have fun with life. Because we have this three of cups and this eight of wands. Um, well, actually, let's back it up. The three of cups is at the center of your reading and that is kind of what the this focus of this month is, is having fun, expressing yourself and in, in expressing yourself with others that are sorry thought I heard something with others that want to celebrate the good things going on too right there's three people here three is the number for new beginnings communication being fun being social it's the holidays right it's you know Christmas it's Hanukkah it's all the things that we celebrate and it's spending time with people that we love and sharing that with people that we love in feeling blessed and content with what we have in our life and seeing these opportunities that we have to grow these relationships because we have a lot coming into our life but it's important that we again stay focused on our dreams and allow that excitement for our dreams to help move us forward we have the eight of wands and the two of cups and the eight of wands is opportunity coming your way opportunity to redo situations and circumstances in the way that we would like to if that makes sense I think I spoke about this a couple times in the daily in the dailies that it's like this like life gives you lessons yes but they also give you the opportunity to redo things like let me back it up like cycles right we talk about cycles all the time and cycles are cycles and they are here to teach us lessons and if we don't get them they just continue on yes 
but we can also see it as the universe giving us the opportunity to do it the way that we wish we would have with the new perspective that we do now. Do it in a way that is more aligned with us authentically, what we have going on, what we're working with, and we have the strength to do it because the universe is backing us up with it, right? Source, God, it's on our side. It's pushing us to form these new relationships that help us heal, that, that to deepen our connections with who is already around us, to feel more love, to feel the security and the comfort and the blessings that really are in our life. But if we're too focused on, you know, I wanna say it's like the physical stuff because I see the King of Pentacles here, the physical things it can get a little off track. And that's okay, and the physical is really nice, but we are moving a little bit more that more out of that way and more into, you know, realizing what or allowing ourselves to just feel real feelings. Um, we have the two of cups here, and this is a relationship that comes in, which could be a an earth sign, could also be a fire sign because we have strength here in the end and with strength next to it. We're actually with the phase three, I see like the opportunity to grow a relationship that helps you strengthen your spiritual relationship with yourself so that you can calm the ideas or the thoughts or the beliefs inside you that, that are incongruent with who you are, that stop you from moving forward and following your desires and le leading a life that's congruent to your passions, right? Because this fire here, and that's your drive, that's your energy, that's your enthusiasm to get up and, you know, go do your thing every day. Do your thing, chicken wing. That's what I always say. Eight is the number of strength, and we have strength here as well. So pay attention to eights, because eight comes up again in your reading. You have the strength this month. You have the strength to move through these things. You have the strength to find peace. You have the strength to find love. You have the strength to see the opportunities and rise to the occasion of them. You're Leos, okay? Be the sun, be the source, and let your light shine authentically. You always do. But remember that there's also relationships that can help you get to where you're going to, that it doesn't always have to be you, and that there are people around you that want to help you, that you can go on this journey with together, and it can be love or it can be just a friendship, but it's here to help you connect to your divine, true essence and self. Um, so I love that. Moving on, we have Unbound, um, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past life. So that's what this is going to be. It is unraveling those things so that we can feel the success and the strength that's around us so that we can celebrate that we did this. But it's such a little tiny thing this month that it just allow it to happen naturally because you are being affected as well as the other fixed um, yeah, fixed signs. It's Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius that the next 18 months you will see total upheaval and complete transformation of your life. So allow it to just happen naturally and have fun in the unraveling of whatever that is. We have for our love life, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path, the four of wands. So I always like to say too, these cards were made in a longer t in a long time ago. So I also like to say like values and beliefs, but with this four of wands here, I can, I can see maybe a marriage. Like religiously, that is something that you believe in and you both believe in that together. Maybe again, like I said, earth signs, pay attention to them. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, maybe you're making a commitment to each other in a way that is it's influencing you. And I don't see this influence being a negative one. Sometimes it can be if you have different beliefs, but this is you guys coming together in a union. So, and it doesn't always have to be a marriage, but it could be somebody that comes to you and you just share the same ideas with like the priorities, the things that you want in a relationship, the things that you, that are important to each other, spiritually value, you know, beliefs, they're aligned. Um, then we have, separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon and we have the moon so i feel like that is a caution because the moon is about our fears and our illusions and going down this like dark path and we are scared about it and so maybe some of us are separating as some people are coming together there could be a separation for you to come closer to your person but i see this too is if we don't work on our fears and the things that stop us we will stop ourselves 
from feeling the love because we're so used to or feeling the love, being open to unconditional compassion and love because we're so used to doing things on our own. We're so used to being independent. We're so used to just being these, you know, amazing creative Leos that sometimes it's hard to, I don't know, loosen the reins a little bit. So pay attention to that because I feel like this separation would be something brought on by your fears and not because it is something that you really want or you really desire. I see her just kind of sitting there and he's like leaving away. She's like, no. And I kind of feel like it's like how your soul would do or how your spirit's saying because you're just, we would like let it go by without really, without really allowing yourself to interact with it. So open your heart up. Open it up a little. Allow this in because we have true love here with this is a romance of a lifetime in the eight of wands in reverse. So I'm saying if you don't act on it and you don't, if you see that and this marriage maybe freaks you out and you're like, oh my God, maybe I'm not ready. And eight of wands in reverse here, you're going to let that opportunity slip you by. It's going to feel like mist because it's really is something, it's a true love. It's here for you that you've called and it's coming, right? This is wishes granted. So allow it. Don't be scared, don't run away, don't think that it's too dark and scary and the monsters are gonna get you. It's here for you. Um, so allow it in, allow yourself to celebrate. Four of Wands is also 11-11, make a wish. You made this wish. So allow it to be in your life, allow it to unfold, allow it to take up space. And then we're going to finish up with an affirmation. Oh my gosh, that's too many. But I like this one. Spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion. And that's exactly what you're doing this month. You're quieting those thoughts in your mind and you're aligning yourself with love. You're aligning yourself with the blessings, with the opportunities that are coming in here to help you and help move you forward while we allow the things that no longer serve us to unravel. I love that for you guys. Um, I'm Ashley Rose and if you'd like to know more about me, you can go to ashleyrose.com. The link is in the description. Otherwise, I will see you back in the daily tarot readings. Bye guys.